like security and productivity. Normally you only get to pick one of these things, but, but when you use stack blitz, right, you're, you are more productive. Your builds finish faster. You can code faster and build faster and it's far more secure, right? That's the interesting part for me because I've seen a lot of these things come and go, put your development environment in the browser. Uh, I remember back when Heroku was actually that. Before Heroku was successful, their first version was, hey, it's an IDE in the browser. Isn't this cool? So it was a complete Ruby on Rails environment in your browser. And it was really impressive. And nobody wanted to use it because it was the uncanny <laughs> valley. And it was slower than localhost. And you ran into issues. And you couldn't pop your terminal and just do a terminal command and then hop back into your... It just never has worked. And so if you are able to pull this off because of the speed... You know, if it delivers on the speed promises, which we see in the demos and the GIFs, if that works out in practice, you know, I think you'll have a compelling environment, whereas nothing has convinced me ever that I should put my development environment in my browser to date. Absolutely. Yeah. It's kind of like we've seen over the years, like web ID after web ID, and they all are just like not as good as a local environment. Right. And so I think, you know, this seems like a... a solving one of those problems for sure that's stopping people from using it. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head too, because that's kind of been our viewpoint from day one is that why would you move to an online IDE if it's not going to be better than your local environment, right? It can't be as good even, right? It has to be better. Otherwise, what's the incentive? And then when you break that down, what do we care about as developers? How fast can I do? How fast can I get my ideas into my fingertips through the keyboard and get a response back from the computer? It's speed. Right? How fast can I get a response from the computer? And and also, you know, again with the supply chain attacks increasing for people who are employed at large organizations that have a lot to lose, how can this give me a a secure by default guarantee? Right? And it runs consistently. You know, I think is that you know, oh, the works on my machine issue, right? Like that's you know, I think those are the key things to us at least that really matter for this to work. And by the way, you can try this out. You don't have to be logged in because the beautiful thing is that you can go to Stapus.com, click the next JS starter project. You don't have to log in because it doesn't cost us anything to run. Like I think our servers cost, you know, less than a thousand bucks a month. And we've got, uh, you know, two, three million developers that are, that are using the product, right? Because it's all leveraging your local CPU and memory. So you can try it out for yourself to see just kind of how fast it is. 